Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I'm here today to do my May TBR. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. So first of all, I want to get it out of the way. I can't fucking believe that it's May right now. I'm shook. But what it does mean is on the day of recording, it is my little baby's birthday. I would prefer that she ask me for my permission so I can say no. I like saying no. So with that out of the way, let's get into the TBR. This month I have quite a substantial list of books yet again that I want to read. Given that I had two reading slumps, one in March, one in April, or one like continuous long slump, you would think that I would say, Kelsey, don't put 15 books on your TBR because you're not going to read them. No, no, here I am with another TBR that's 15 books long. I have no apologies. So I have three separate plans of books that I'm going to read in May. The first of which is a reading vlog I am super excited to film, but not so excited to read these absolute chunkers, which I won't tell you what they are. You're just gonna have to tune into that vlog. The next of which is to participate in the May the Force Read With You, which is a month long readathon hosted by Break Even Books and a bunch of other YouTubers. I will leave a link down below in the description to all their videos. But essentially, this is a Star Wars themed read along. So when I get to the books on my TBR that fall into one of the prompts, I will mention it. But essentially, the gist of the readathon is that there is a light side and a dark side, and whichever side that you pick is the side of the prompts that you will choose from. Like my black cloth wearing emo self, I obviously chose the dark side. So several of the books on my TBR fall into those prompts. Additionally to that, I really, 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 really need to get started on a lot of my arcs that released in April and May that I just haven't prioritized at all. So you'll see a couple of those in this TBR as well. So the first book I would like to get to this month is Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. It's quite bright with the lighting, but essentially this is the second book in the Nikolai duology, I guess it's called. This is Lee Bardugo's third series within the Grishaverse universe that she has created. Um, If you've been following my channel or you know me, I love the Grishaverse. It is one of my favorite fantasy expansive series. I love Lee Bardugo for what she's created. The Netflix adaptation of Shadow and Bone has just come out and I need to watch it. But essentially this is the third series. I won't go into too much details about this book, but essentially this series follows Nikolai, who you meet in the Shadow and Bone series. And it basically follows the events that happened within that series. Nikolai is one of my favorite characters, favorite royalty, favorite prince. But yeah, I don't have any more descriptors other than that. It is quite chunky, but I do fly through Lee Bardugo's books, so I'm not that that worried. And this book also falls under one of the Star Wars prompts. So the prompt is Rule of Two, and it is to read a book from a duology. Now, I know that this is part of the Grishaverse universe. However, it is the last book in the duology. So I will be reading it. The next two books I want to talk about are part of Books and Lala's Buzzword Readathon. If you've been following my TBRs this year, you will know that I have been participating in this readathon each month. And essentially, just what it entails is that Lala picks a word for each month, and you kind of have to pick a book that falls under that word. So the word for this month is house, the first of which will be The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. This book is also part of my oldest own books on my TBR that I will link up above that I want to get to this year. This book also falls under the lightning prompt for the Star Wars readathon, which means to read a book under 350 pages. And I believe that this book is like even less than 300 pages. Yep, it's 223 pages. I don't know too much what this book is about. It really made its rounds on booktube a couple of years ago, but essentially this book follows four teens who live in Alaska. And the back of this book says that this is a book about people who try to save each other and how sometimes when they least expect it, they succeed. It sounds beautiful. I've been really, really, really wanting to read this because a lot of people gave it five stars when it came out. So very excited. The next book that falls under the house prompt, I am finally, finally getting to The House of the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. This book, I have not seen a single review that has been under five stars. This has been making its rounds and everybody has been loving it. I am also reading this as a part of the Late Night Book Club, which is hosted by Noelle, Elias, and Joel. I will also leave a link down below to their channels, but every month essentially they read a book. And for the month of May, The House in the Cerulean Sea was chosen. It fits perfectly with the Buzzwordathon. Love it. 
I think my mom is here. So like I was saying, this book follows a man named Linus Barker who works as a caseworker for the Department of Magical Youth and he is tasked with traveling to this place, the House of the Cerulean Sea, because he needs to determine whether these six magical children who live here are too dangerous to live, to exist. I've just heard excellent and adorable things. Very excited to read this. This is like my number one priority for this month. And this book also falls under one of the prompts for the Star Wars readathon and it is Telekinesis, a book that you think will move you. I've seen people cry over this book so I'm highly anticipating doing so. The next book I have here is part of my classics books that I need to read this year and this is The Iliad by Homer. This is obviously probably one of the most well-known books from Greek literature. I have the indigo version which is not translated into a poem, it's actually translated into text which I kind of prefer more. I've read a lot of classic poems in my literature degree and it is not the method that I choose to read from. So I actually quite like that I have a different variation. Is it not the preferred, the known translation? Obviously not. And despite having a literature degree and despite taking ancient Greek classes, I have never actually read the Iliad or the Odyssey. We'll read what it's about. Homer's Iliad is the epic tale of the siege of Troy. After nine years, the Greeks are still fighting to reclaim the beautiful Helen, and it is hardly the time for their supreme warrior Achilles to drop out of the war, but he does, and only the death of his best friend Patroclus persuades Achilles to return to battle and confront the Trojan leader Hector in single combat. I have read The Song of Achilles, and I absolutely adored that book and I'm glad I read it first because I kind of have a more modern retelling of the background needed for this book so super excited to give it a go. This one also falls under a prompt for the Star Wars readathon. I am stretching it a little bit but hear me out. So it falls under the prompt first order the first book in a series technically and I've asked three people about this so technically it does work because three people agreed with me. The Iliad is the first book in the series because the Odyssey comes after it and you have to read the Iliad to read the Odyssey. We're going with it. The last book that I absolutely need to read this month falls under my non-fiction TBR that I need to read this year and this is The Complete Persepolis by Marjean Satrapi. So this is a graphic memoir of Satrapi's time growing up in Iran during the Islamic Revolution. I don't know much more about this book but I've just heard that it's extremely powerful and gorgeously written so I'm really looking forward to picking this up finally. I haven't read this, this is probably like one of the most well-known graphic memoirs and graphic memoirs are something that I adore reading so I absolutely need to pick this up this month. This also falls under one of the prompts for the Star Wars readathon and it is Corrupted. Read a book with a black cover. It is clearly black therefore I will be reading it. I also forgot to mention that one of the books on my secret TBR fall under a prompt for the Star Wars readathon and that prompt is Galactic Empire, a book over 500 pages. Clearly this book is over 500 pages, we're not going to get more into it. Then we will move into the arcs I would like to read this month. Last month a book came out that I didn't get a chance to read beforehand and that is The Beautiful Ones by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. This is her debut novel that was kind of republished and revamped due to the success of Mexican Gothic. But this book follows a high society type of lifestyle where a young woman named Nina really wants to join the ranks of this city's most elite. During the seasons like get together where they incorporate other people into their ranks. I don't know how high society works. Nina is unable to get her telekinesis under control. So I love that this is a historical fiction book that has this magical element to it. It's one of my favorite tropes. Very excited to pick this up. I expect nothing but excellent things. I don't know why I haven't prioritized this yet because I am actually super excited to read this. The Beautiful Ones is the last book I need to read for the Star Wars readathon and it falls under the prompt Forced Vision Manipulation which is a book with political intrigue or royalty. So because it takes place in high society that's why I added it here. The next arc I would like to read also came out in April and this is The End of Men by Christina Sweeney Baird. So essentially I think the title says it all. This is set in a world where a virus has been unleashed and only the men are affected and only the women have the power to save everyone. Last month or the month before I read The Power by Naomi Alderman and I didn't really enjoy it. Um, it was definitely a book written for the masses. I am hoping that Christina Sweeney Baird brings forth a more well-rounded and tied together book. I just felt the power was really lacking on all those fronts so I am really looking forward to reading this. I don't want to know more from the book just hoping that I enjoy it. The next arc I would really like to get to and I'm really excited to read is The Ones We Are Meant to Find by Joan He. First of all, I wanted to pick this up because of this stunning 
cover but the premise of the book also sounds really interesting i'm going to read the first like tagline because i feel like it really embodies what i think this book is going to bring forth one of the most twisty surprising engaging page turner ya's you'll read this year we were liars meets black mirror with a dash of studio ghibli that sounds amazing. This book follows a girl named C who is trapped on this deserted island that she's essentially been abandoned on and she doesn't remember how she survived. And all she does remember is that outside of the island and beyond this island, she has a sister named Kay. C is determined to find her and therefore spends months on end creating this boat in order to travel off the island to see her. And that's all I know about this book. I'm so excited to read it. This cover is just absolutely beautiful. I need to pick this up. Another arc that I've been really in the mood for reading is Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler. I requested this novel knowing nothing except that it follows a bisexual main character. Lara has had eyes for exactly one person her entire high school life. Chase Harding, he is tall, he is strong, he is the football star and obviously super hot. Everything seems to be going well especially when Chase starts flirting with her but Lara is haunted by this memory. It is a memory that is confusing yet romantic with this girl named Jasmine. So this sounds adorable. This sounds like there's going to be so much angst. There's going to be so much self-exploration. Very excited for this. And I haven't read a contemporary book in a while that had zero magical elements. So I think I definitely need to pick this one up. And the last arc I would like to get to this month is Jelly by Claire Rees. So all I know is that this is a kind of science fiction-y dystopian book that takes place in a jellyfish. So the Goodreads description of this says, Martha is stuck on the back of the jellyfish and has been for a long time. She and everyone else living there don't know how exactly they got there or how long they've been there or where they're going. They just remember that something traumatic happened and they can't escape perfection. That sounds so good. And lastly, I don't know if this will even happen, but if I have time, I would like to get to the second book in the second era of Mistborn, and this is Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson. If you've been watching my TBR, you'll know that this year I've been on this Brandon Sanderson project where each month I want to read a book from Brandon Sanderson to tackle my huge TBR of his books. So essentially the Mistborn series follows a group of people who have the power to ingest and manipulate metals in the second era. This is taking place in a kind of cowboy ranger type of era and it follows two characters named Wax and Wayne. Last month I read the first book in the series and I absolutely loved it. I think Wax and Wayne are super fun and hilarious characters and they also have this depth to them that I really enjoy reading from. So that's it. Uh, I really like this series so I know I will probably like this book and I'm itching to pick it up. Hopefully I will this month. And that's it. These are not all the books I want to read this month. These, the secret TBR that I have going for me, the arcs. I have quite the busy month plus I'm probably moving out soon so quite an ambitious month I have going for me but if you like any of these books or if you hate any of these books please let me know down below in the comments because I love talking to everybody if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and ring the notification bell because it makes me feel really good and does wonders for my channel in the description below you will also see a link to my twitter instagram and goodreads if you would like to follow me there and that's it I don't know how to end these things so I guess I will see you next time bye